Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. Today's unboxing is going to be one of the Liberty Kits. This is the Weekender. So this one is on sale for £130. The contents are worth £428. And if you are a Beauty Drop member like I am, I paid £117 for um, this edit set, whatever you want to call it. Um, so basically it is packed full of goodies. And in the video, what, what we're going to do, we're going to unbox the whole thing. Of course we are. So unbox it, unbag it. It is in a big bag like this. Ugh, slide that off and you've got one of their big wash bags. It's actually quite heavy because it's packed full. What do we think of this print? So I actually really like it, but I could imagine some people would be like, yeah, that's a little bit too kind of busy or whatever. I really like it. I like these wash bags a lot. So they've got the handle on, so it makes them super easy to pick up obviously um they also slide into your suitcase i think quite well and they are pretty roomy as well and having this little pocket on the front is always a plus um so it is lined inside which we of course always appreciate and it says liberty on the tags so these bags you can actually buy not in this print it seems Quite often the print is um, just for the set, not always, but most of the time. But a similar bag on the website would cost you anywhere up to £52 for this size of bag. It's got um, six full-size products. It's got some travel sizes. It's got all kinds of stuff. It's packed full. So let's get in and see what is inside. So obviously I used some of my Beauty Drop credit on this. If you don't know about the Libsy Beauty Drop box thing, Basically, um, it's not as good as it used to be, to be honest. See my latest video for my thoughts on that. But basically, as it currently stands, you pay £25 a month to be a member of the Beauty Club. You get £20 of that back in credit to spend on the Liberty website, which you can save up for stuff like this or spend it whenever. And you also get a box sent to you once every three months or once a quarter containing beauty products. It used to be that the products were kind of free because you got all the money that you paid to be a member of the club uh, back as credit. But now you're paying £25 and only getting £20 pack as credit so it basically means that every box that you get once a quarter is actually kind of costing you 15 pounds but obviously it's a bit more complex than that because you are also mean you know tying your money up with liberty because you're exchanging the other 20 pounds for credit if that makes sense so stop waffling about that into this box so first of all a full size eye cream this is from sunday riley and it is auto correct this is an excellent eye cream and it's worth 60 pounds in a 15 mil size which is a full size i have bought this before it is a kind of light white color and it brightens the under eyes it is great for makeup on like that goes on underneath it's great at moisturizing and it does add some brightening as well it's an excellent solid eye cream so yeah i spoke about it many times before i bought it many times before so great start full size worth 60 pounds and i've just realized i haven't turned on one of my lights it's on now so many things so many things to remember the next product and i'm excited for this one is a full size lip gloss from trish mcavoy and this is a brand that shows up a lot of the times uh, in the sets and stuff and this looks like quite a pretty color it's kind of like a coral color i'm gonna pop some on in a second so i really hope this is the color that's gonna work for me it's called the easy lip gloss i'm not sure what's easy about it and it's in the shade in Ween. it is a three mil size and like i said it's a full size worth 26 pounds so it's like a kind of coral shade but i will show you because we're gonna put it on and this is what it looks like it's quite sticky when you apply it like sticky that it's going to stick to your lips hopefully it is quite pigmented as well super thick it's almost like to me a cross between a lip gloss and a liquid lip i would say I actually feel like it looks a bit more corally in real life than it does on camera, if that makes sense. Um, I think I like it. I, I hope it suits because obviously I've just used it now. And yeah, it says dermatologist tested, not tested on animals. The power of makeup. It says get plump, full of lips. I'm not sure it's not doing any plumping or filling or anything like that. I think it's just a case of it's making them feel more plump or maybe tricking you into thinking it looks more plump because of 
kind of gloss and whatnot. Um, it's just infused with peptides and oils to hydrate and smooth the appearance of fine lines. I guess it probably does that. The Velvety Smooth formula delivers a luxurious pigmented sheen that lasts for hours. It is pigmented. You can use it on its own or layer it over lipstick for a subtle hint of shine. Next, a full-size moisturiser from Chantacay. This is an oil-free balancing moisturiser in a full size, which is 50ml, and it retails for £78. The first ingredient is Rosa Damascena flower water. It's also got water in. Um, it's got glycerin and lots of other bits and pieces. 94% from natural origin, gluten-free, vegan, no animal testing. So Shantakai make really beautiful skincare products, um, but they are... A little on the pricey side so usually i would be absolutely over all over rather an oil free moisturizer like this because i have oily combo skin and this seems like it would be a great kind of summer moisturizer but if you've been following my videos recently i am trying out a uh, prescription retinoid and therefore i'm having to be super careful with my skin and use like thicker moisturizers um, and one's kind of more suited for dry skin so for now i don't feel this is the right time to kind of introduce it into my routine but yeah, I'm probably one I might kind of come back to, which is why I'm not going to open it just yet. Lightweight and refreshing. This moisturising fluid gives deep hydration to oil -like combination and troubled skin, leaving it looking fresh and supple. It's infused with skin barrier supporting arctic berry extract and balancing noni extract and marine postbiotic to visibly refine pores and remove excess sebum without stripping the skin. Use daily all over the face and neck. Then we have got a perfume from, is it Santal Beauty? And it is Bibi. And this is in the 10 mil size. So a full size of this would be 100 mil for 225 pounds, which makes this 10 mil worth about 22.50 price per mil. So it's still a decent value on what is essentially a kind of sample. It kind of looks like a travel size, like a lot of brands will sell a 10 mil size, won't they, of their perfume, particularly in packaging like this, and it will be a travel size. But for this brand, I kind of couldn't see this size available anywhere. For me, this isn't really a me scent. I kind of struggle to describe what it smells of. Maybe a little bit kind of bergamot -y. It doesn't really tell me anything on here about what it smells like either. I believe this was in the 2023 advent calendar. It was one of the few advent calendars I didn't unbox. I often do get the Liberty advent calendar, but I just kind of didn't feel that drawn to the products inside. I wasn't as excited about it, so I didn't end up getting it, although I was a little on the fence for a while. So this is described as floral and woody fragrance with top notes of Italian lemon. I do not get that at all. Saffron, heart notes of violet, magnolia and bamboo, base notes of sandalwood, blonde woods and crisp amber. And that's all I've got to say about that. But let me know if you smelt it, if this is your kind of fragrance. This one just isn't mine. Next, a travel size from Larry King. We have got the Spoilt for Choice Multitasking Hair Oil with Rosemary. And I'm actually using this. I got this in another, I don't know, gift with purchase, goodie bag, a set. I, I definitely didn't buy it. I, I know that much. Um, anyway, it's a hair oil with rosemary. This is massage into scalp and hair as a hair mask or scalp remedy. Do you know I actually haven't done that? I've been using it on the ends of my hair and I just thought, yeah, it's, it's a decent enough hair oil. Um, but it says massage into scalp and hair as a hair mask or scalp remedy. Leave on as desired and rinse out with a double shampoo. Let me know if you've tried it. I would love to know what the results of that are. I'm a bit scared to put oil on my scalp, but it would probably be good for it. Alternatively, use it to add moisture before blow drying to finish sleek styles or to add softness and shine to curls and coils. You can even mix it with their velvet texture clay or a social life of your hair finishing cream for more ways to style and finish your hair. I've just been using it on the ends of my hair before blow drying, to be honest. So it's in a glass bottle like this. It has got a glass dropper. And it's just a super liquidy oil. So I've used it two or three times. And look, it looks like a bell used in it. That retails for £28 for 30 mil. So in the size we get, it is £28. And that is, like I said, a travel size. Next, we have got a mascara from Hourglass. It is their Unlocked Mascara. It's in the shade Ultra Black. And it is their Instant Extensions Mascara. And this is what the packaging looks like on it. So I do love a little bit of Hourglass. I don't wear much mascara. Again, we've spoken about this before. I use lash serums and things like that. So I don't tend to wear mascara very much, but it's Hourglass. They do make a really good mascara. I do really like Hourglass makeup. I just wish it was a little bit cheaper, should we say. Anyway, this is the Unlocked Travel Mascara, five gram, and it's a travel size worth 16 pounds. 
Next we've got a full size from one of my favourite body care brands. This is Necessaire. I've not spoken about them for a while, but we're still, we're still having a thing. I still really like it. This is The Body Wash and it's in the scent Eucalyptus, 250ml, 8.4 fluid ounce. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this retails for £26, super gentle for the body. They also basically use ingredients you'd normally see in skincare, but for the body. So for example, niacinamide, vitamin C, vitamin E, amigos 6 and 9, and glycerin. It's also hypoallergenic, dermatology tested, non-comedogenic, and at a pH of 5.5 to 6.5. So it's all about being very good for the skin. I also like the packaging as well. You just like twist it and squeeze it out, so super easy in the shower, and I like the, the packaging is cool, yeah, it's it's nice kind of sleek packaging. I also wanted to show you, I've been using this one, it's just literally come out of my shower, you can see there's hardly any left. This is the bergamot one, which smells like bergamot, funnily enough, um, but I've had the eucalyptus one before. Also very, very nice, so this is good. I was excited to see it in here, and it's products like this that made me think, yep, yeah, we're picking that up. I actually think this is a very good deal for the products you get inside, obviously, this is all subjective. You may be looking at this and thinking, I don't want any of those products, in which case, don't buy it. But if you like a lot of these products, you want to try them, obviously now is a good time. And I have linked it below with everything in the box uh, if you're interested in like, looking at anything in any more detail. Then we have got a full-size product from Oborovsky, our Budapest. This is the Magic Moisture Mist. 50 ml or 1.7 fluid ounce. So I've not tried this. I've tried the other like mist things that they do that's pretty popular. But I've never tried this. So I need to know, is it any good? So it's basically a bi-phase product. It's got like oil at the top here and then like the liquid at the bottom. So it says, shake well before use. Ah, okay. So I was a little bit confused then as to why this product is so expensive because it's 68 pounds for 50 ml which is a full size. But I'm thinking, that's a lot for basically a facial mist. This is obviously not a facial mist. It's a liquid moisturizer powered by an innovative two-phase formula, which makes weightless hydration a reality. When combined, the oil and water phases enrich the skin with pollution-defying antioxidant plant stem cells, as well as nourishing essential oils. Skin appears dramatically revitalized and regenerated. Shake well before use, close eyes, and spray on the face for a touch-free hydration on the go. Interesting. Got all kinds of oils and stuff in, I suppose, as I suppose you'd expect, but a lot of kind of fragrancy oils, which makes me a little bit nervous, and also citric acid, and I don't know. I'm feeling a little bit more sensitive skincare-wise at the minute, especially since I started introducing that retinoid, and now a little bit like super cautious about what I'm putting on my face because it's not necessarily tolerating things as well as it used to, as it gets used to this new thing I'm doing to it. So. Hmm, more research may be required. Let me know, have you used this with sensitive skin? How was it? Because you know, you're watching this video for information, I guess, I'm showing you what's in the box. You can give me information too, it definitely helps. So let me know if you've used it and what you thought. Next, we have got a primer moisturizer, whatever you wanna call it, from Bobbi Brown. It is a vitamin enriched face base in a 15 mil travel size. This retails for 19 pounds. It's literally in the same packaging as the like full size one. So it actually kind of looks, it's not a full size, it's a travel size, but it looks less like a sample. I actually have my sample sized one and you can see what I mean. This isn't just like a regular pot and this looks just like the full size. I will show you from the sample one, I've got on the go what this looks like. So it just kind of looks like a moisturizer but you could actually use it in place of a moisturizer if you didn't need the additional moisture. Also works great as a primer, sort of smooths everything out. Makeup goes on top really nicely and just lasts a little bit longer. It's a bestseller for a reason, isn't it? It's got that nice lightweight scent to it. Very good, really good, really good, really easy. And if you just want that whole like moisturizer and primer in one, it's very good at that. The final thing in here is one of their 60 gram candles the Liberty Candles. I can't kind of work out, right? They include these in these sets, don't they? But they don't actually sell these. Why is that? Because actually it would be useful to have this size of candle before going in for like a big one if you weren't sure like what it smelled like and stuff. You can't fault the uh, the boxes, can you? The boxes are beautiful. So it's cashmere woods, blackberry and musks. Love the attention to detail on the inside of this box. Very pretty. It is very like florally, but expensive florally with a bit of kind of complexness to it. Oh, that is, that is really nice. Oh, it does smell like a stately bouquet, actually. That's probably a good name for it. 
So it is only 60 gram, it is definitely not a full size. I wish it was a travel size, but they don't sell them this size. A full size would be 52 pounds and it would be 300 grams you would get for a full size candle. This 60 gram one is therefore worth, price per gram, 10 pounds 40. So there's not a right lot of value in it compared to a full size. Still that smells amazing, if you like that kind of thing. I love to think that one day you'll be watching these videos and you'll be able to smell what I can smell. So that is the bag all empty. It has got a little slip pocket here, um, which you probably can't see because it's all the same kind of colour. Um, and then it's got this big pocket here. Everything is all lined and it is definitely significantly lighter since we emptied it out. Um, but I actually really like this bag. What do we think? It's one of those where it literally will like sit on its own um, when it's not got anything in, which I like rather than one that just like falls over. So I like it. I like the design of that a lot. And I'm not gonna lie, when I first um, saw it on the website, I was like, I like that bag before I realised what was even in it. But I think it's a good deal, but only if you're gonna use the products within it. That's what you have to think, don't you? Am I excited? Am I gonna actually use those products? Because obviously that's how it makes it a good kind of deal for you. But yes, it would also make a very nice gift or a very nice weekend away. Although there's many other things I would need if I was going on a weekend away, but I get the idea. Anyway, I really hope you have enjoyed watching the video. I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. It lets me enjoying the content I'm producing. And I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.